Congratulations, we've made it through the first week of online learning. There have been some technical hiccups, but we did it. So, a couple of things. First of all, there's a video after this. It's talking about imagery, and it's important. However, at the end, it's going to tell you that your assignment for the day is an imagery poem, much like the symbolism poem. We've had a lot of technical issues this week, and most of you have a lot of things left to do. So, we do not have to do that. You will not have an assignment today. Watch the video, listen about the things for imagery, especially about the creation ideas, but you don't have to do the symbolism poem. Second, I sent you a message in Schoology about accessing this week's assignments. I will show you in a minute how to access this. Make sure that you are watching the messages in Schoology. On Monday, I'm going to be sending you an important one about how we're going to be accessing assignments in the future. So please watch that. All right, I will show you how to do that. When you're done accessing everything, click on to the next video. Uh, and then finish any of the assignments whenever you get them done and have a good weekend. So here you are, your homepage in Schoology. To get your messages, go to the top left where there are those three bars. Click on them and your navigation will appear. As you can see, right under your name is the messages. Click on it and these are all the messages that you've gotten and all the messages you've sent. Now, I sent you a message today, and the subject was something along the lines of assignments for the week of March 30th to April 3rd. When you click on that assignment, or when you click on that message, something like this will pop up. It won't be a Google Doc, but it will pop up in the body of the message and look like this. What it has is it has links to all the messages for the week. Monday Slipgrid, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday's worksheet, and as I told you on Friday, we're not doing the assignment. Below that, it's got how to access and how to complete the assignments. These links are for view only Google documents. I can't have you filling out one worksheet and then having everybody see it. So you're going to have to make your own. What you do is you click on the link and the assignment will open up in Google Docs. Now, you won't be able to write on this because it's a view only. So what you do is you go up to the top right and you click on the three dots. That'll open up this menu. Once this is up, you click on this button that says Share and Export. That'll open up this menu and at the bottom, you click Make a Copy. It will make a copy of the assignment, and here's the copy. Now, you should be able to write on the copy. You may have to touch the bottom right pencil circle, or you can double-click anywhere in there and write it. What you do is fill out the worksheet, like I told you on the first day. So fill it out. Then you need to share it with me. So, again... Click up here on the three arrows, or the three dots, and click Share and Export again. Click on the top, the little person that says Share, and then just start typing my name in, and I should pop up. Click it, and then it, and click Share, and it's shared with me. When you're done with that, you need to rename the document. So what you need to do is, if there's an arrow on the top, or if there's a check mark, click the check mark up on the top left where it says copy of symbolism worksheet, then click the arrow. This will bring you to your Google Docs home screen. Now, as you can see on the top left, last opened by me is the copy of the symbolism worksheet. In order to rename it, just click the three dots and then once this menu opens, click rename and you can rename it to Symbolism Worksheet and whoop, your name. 
and there you go. Then it will be shared with me, it'll be your name, and it will be good. If you have any questions about any of this, please let me know.